Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Building Wings. Hey there, this is Deb Farina. If you're new to me, I'm just getting comfy here and excited to bring this video to you. Let's see, we can minimize some of the glass glare. Okay, that's it. We'll go with it. <laughs> Oh, first of all, so much compassion. Oh, my sinuses are still going. <laughs> so much compassion for you if you're going through any ascension symptoms, hard opening journeys that can be experienced physically through a lot of um, sinus, uh, chills, uh, body aches, um, there's some more <laughs> uh, it shows up differently for a lot of individuals and right now at the time of the recording of this video we're going through a large collective consciousness uplift uh, so this is happening to many people but this can be happening to you at any point in the journey um, it's not limited to one dime. So um, whenever you're called to watch this, there's something in the video for you. So as with all my videos, this is one to support you to restore and remember your true soul expression. Um, if you're new to me, you'll see I'm very authentic. <laughs> Keep real time. Um, and uh, what is interesting is you're catching me at a big transition point as I'm currently on a sabbatical from posting on Facebook and Instagram. So YouTube is where you will find me as I've taken a full-time opportunity, which I didn't think I ever would do again, but that's what these times are for. And this is to give space for new gifts emerging from me. I talked a little bit about them in the Chiron Cares video and I'll share more as I go through the process. And I will still be here supporting you. No worries. Some of you have expressed some concern who've been with me for a while. Like, oh no, Deb, I will be here. Maybe not as frequent. We'll see how it goes, but I will be here. And I will continue to post in the community section, which a lot of people don't know about in YouTube, um, that can help point you to videos as well as head to the homepage of my website for the library and it gives you a little brief description about the videos. So um, you can receive help. Even um, a lot of the videos I've created in the last year and a half, the energy themes are still relevant. So it um, doesn't have to be new to support you, okay? So I'm here for you. And also I will continue to provide offers. And uh, although my availability has shifted to mostly the weekends, maybe we'll see some evenings, we'll see how things go. Um, there's a new featured specials page. <laughs> my throat wants me to expand here a little bit um, and share a little bit of uh, um, an energy I'm seeing in my mind right now, a circle with a dot, which is the earth point symbol. It's also a symbol for wholeness. and. Um, being guided to share some of the gifts that's emerging there's a, a light language or sound code that feels like it wants to come through so we're gonna we're gonna kick it off with that ah, ah, ah. Hmm. hopefully you enjoy that and it opened your heart space. All right. I think I needed that to uh, bring me into an alignment for what I'm about to share that I channeled previously for you. Um, as you'll notice with older videos, my offers continually evolve. Uh, you can check out the recent new featured ones and special ones on the new featured specials page. I'm going to share more about that at the end. Um, you're always welcome as well to email me if you'd like guidance on which could support your situation. Um, I'm very accessible in that way. I will chat to help guide you. I'm not offering uh, free guidance via email. I mean, I will guide you to what um, what is available as guidance via, say, YouTube, whether it be free or a paid offering or both in many cases. Um, I tend to talk about themes free here and then also paid. So there's an assortment of options. I've noted my email below this video for convenience, and it's also on my website. So now let's get to the video, right? I'm going to take a, a sip of water. Mm. 
on an abstract note, I recently noticed I'm a bit of a gulper and um, I uh, tend to gulp the water. So I've been working on sipping. Isn't that odd, right? So I'm having some gastric issues. So this is what has gotten me paying more attention to these things. And it's these types of things that um, we focus on, right? What we focus on, we suddenly observe these things that maybe others have seen about us. My husband's like, oh yeah, I've known that for years. And I'm like, why did I not know this about myself, right? So this is the part of our journey, right? We awaken to these new aspects of ourselves and we say, oh, hey, wait a minute. I didn't realize this about me. And we also release aspects of ourselves. And that's going to be a big part of the building wings. So this is a featured focus video. It's part of a playlist where we focus on a particular area. In this case, it's the ascension journey. Now, the building wings is excuse me, <laughs> an alchemical process that occurs as you open your heart to release suffering and create movement. There's a lot of vulnerability with this. So I'm I'm being guided to be particularly transparent today, <laughs> even though I try to be um, myself in, in all the videos, right? But like you, human. So um, this is about releasing suffering and creating movement when we're building wings. And it's evolving into what you can become. And you've already become this in, in a particular timeline or perspective or moment in time and space, if you will. So it's about um, bringing yourself to that, if you will, to that version of you. Now, um, as always with these resonate, you may resonate with certain words that I use or phrases. And sometimes you might say, well, I'm not sure I, I would phrase it that way, Deb, but I get what you're saying. Take what resonates the most. Um, these words have been channeled particularly, so they may activate or trigger you in some way um, to support you to evolve and grow as well. And the back of my head or the sinus region is, is like going crazy right now. So um, this is where our wings um, opening there is, our spiritual opening there. So, ooh. So this is similar to that of a butterfly leaving the chrysalis. So this is the building wings phase. We've been in a developing energy for the last few weeks at the time of this recording. And um, we're getting ready for that transformation of leaving the chrysalis, taking the first step. It's like the bird leaving the nest, if you will, um, that's happening. So while you think things haven't been happening because you haven't actually seen the action piece in a lot of ways, I mean, some of you are already starting to see some of it trickle in. Um, they have. It's been a lot of behind the scenes. It's like the seed underground nourishing itself and getting ready to pop through. And a lot of new potentials and perspectives have now become possible in your frequency state especially for those of you who have been, well, it, it's at both a consciousness and a subconscious process. So you could be doing a lot in your sleep and not even realizing it if you're surrendered to it. So I was going to say something like, especially if you've been working on it, but <laughs> I'm going to uh, poke a hole in that dynamic right now and say that um, you may be subconsciously working on it. So if you're experiencing a lot of sinus, you may be doing a lot without even realizing it, like bypassing a lot of your ego identity. Mm, something new to think about. So what does this look like? What does this energy of building wings look like? And how is this showing up for you? Or what, in what way is this showing up for you? And, and, and what can you do to support it or guide it or understand it? So maybe you're a little less freaked out about it or a little more comfortable with it or even understand how you can work with it if you desire to co-create. So I'll let that sink in for a minute. So this is essentially what I state in the description for this video. <laughs> Do you hear my loud swallower? There's a newly opened point of view, meaning you're working without a map right now. And my heart goes to you because so am I. <laughs> Start this new job on Monday. I'm not sure if that's where I'm going to stay or not. But it's I definitely working without a map. And for an intuitive as myself, I'm used to kind of knowing a little bit more than I've been lately. <laughs> so I feel you right now, right? Sometimes we're not meant to know. It would only, um, quote unquote, mess us up or distract us from the course of the path we're meant to take. Because that very knowing we could have could be riddled with expectations or agenda. So hmm, that just came in. So that was reassuring for me. I hope it was for you too. Now, when you have no clear vision of what the future is going to look like, it can bring up... Um, 
lower energy states that maybe have been unprocessed, like fears and society paradigms and ancestral traumas and things like, oh, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And we can sometimes get stuck in that loop. So deep breath with me, right? This isn't about what's going to happen in the future. It's about bringing your heart back to now and what you can do in this moment, because that's where power is. All right. As with all spiritual up levels or awakenings, there may be ascension symptoms, as I mentioned earlier, um, sometimes in the area of the body, like the sinus, where these activations occur, at least this is as far as we know anyway, I mean, be occurring in some other region, but this is how we've described it now. We are always evolving, and that's something to keep in mind. Um, and I try to keep that in mind in the videos that I do, and even the ones that I provide from, you know, years ago, that that there's pieces that we learn in these moments in time and you're guided to them when your time matches that time. <laughs> like you're guided to this when the time matches that, right? But we're always evolving. So if you come back to it a year later, it may not make sense or may have deeper levels of gnosis or understanding. So that's why I often say too, it can be helpful to watch some of these videos at different points in time. Uh, um, so you may also notice something different about your own abilities or gifts. So this is really important because a lot of times when we're going through this process, we start to have like um, things happening, whether it's to our physical state or our reality of what we see, because it, it deeply affects a lot of our eye area too, um, what we smell or nose, um, what we know or what we feel. It may be easier or it may be like a whole new sensation where we're like, what in the world is this? I had one client once who said to me, Deb, I see like, this ripple in my vision, like I said, oh, you're seeing like the, the, if you <laughs> like a rip in time, right. You're seeing like the energy vibration of like the tree or the, 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 um, the leaf. And, and, you know, this is the first time you're experiencing something like this. You can go, oh my gosh, I'm crazy. And I, is this, this is like freaking me out. Um, and this may also be something that's incredibly familiar to you. Um, but you're still going through these shifts and you're like, well, what can I do to help expand it? You know, um, this is a journey I've been on for a while, but I still wake up sometimes when things happen and go, what in the world was that? Because <laughs> um, it's new, right? And we have to wrap our minds around it. So, you know, it's completely okay wherever you are. <laughs> and it helps to laugh about it, by the way. Um now, you also need to trust your intuition as well, because sometimes there's something deeper at work. Like I mentioned, the gastric symptoms. So I, I have some um, things going on. There may be something um, on process that's creating a physical symptom that you need to explore. There could be a, a genetic or karmic thing. So if you have a system that's pervade, a symptom that's pervasive that continues and continues and continues and continues, like um, uh, sinuses have always been something for me. You know, at some point you may want to consider looking into that. That's up to you. Um, I am not a doctor, physical disclaimer there. Okay. Um, now it can also show up for many of you who've been on this journey a while with a deeper resonance with your heart. So that often brings up a lot of emotions and processing. Um, and you may not even have figured out why these things are coming up because why connects us to the past? You may not even realize what in the past um, hasn't been unprocessed yet. So why is this doorway? And it moves you beyond the past, purifying your mental patterns. So it can be really deep. It can be very individual. It can be very personal. Um, and it typically comes up when there is unprocessed emotions. So in society, we're often taught to repress our emotions, um, even at a very young age. Like, don't get upset about that. Don't cry. Um, don't be so sensitive. And, you know, all of these things, what winds up happening is they get like locked in or trapped in a field because they, they can't move through. And, um, over time, I didn't channel this. So just give me a minute to think out. Okay. Over time, these energies <laughs> start coming down. These emotions build upon each other, um, until they like, they need to be released, right? They, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm hearing this is like when we often see a lot of um, symptoms of disease and things. It's part of some of my new channeling. I, I have a bit of a medical intuitive in me, apparently is a little bit more than a bit these days I'm discovering. So we'll see where that takes me. Now, emotions um, have been stuck, that have been stuck or stagnant, right? That keeps us 
in um, cycles of belief loops, right? Because um, we have beliefs about our emotions, about what's good, what's bad, what's right, what's wrong. And we've been doing a lot of clearing of that recently. Um, I can just feel something coming in here even as I talk about this. Um, and these emotions have been asking for you to look at them. That's what happens when we go in the why stage. Like, why is this happening to me? Which can take us down the, the victim route um, or a disempowered route of thinking things are happening to us instead of for us. And this is, I even hate to use the word victim because it's just the way it's, it's, it's seen in society. But it's basically an energy that's disempowered. It's dense. It's a shadow. It's a, it's a lower energy state. That doesn't often feel so good to us because it's dense, it's heavy. Now, when we want to empower a new path and release expectations for the future, what happens is the emotions ask you to look at them so they can be set free. And this way they don't come in to the future. They don't come into the now moment and intrude on the opportunity that's right in front of you. So you can see all the potentials instead of a, a narrow view to a fragmented potential because that's all you can think about, right? So this empowers a new path or direction forward when you work within this building wing space without the unresolved past confusing it. So we're gonna do some work on this today as well with the tulip, as I mentioned, for rebirthing energy. So that can be, that's gonna be really fun. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> as you may know, I've been recalibrating to a new energy vibration, <laughs> navigating the Chiron return, which is interesting, and creating from a clean slate. Now, um, some people say their Chiron return isn't that big. Some feel it really deeply. This isn't about that right now. I talked more about that in Chiron Cares. This is about um, recognizing we're all recalibrating in some way because we, when we recalibrate is what brings out the new because we're taking what we were focused on or where our frequency is and we're shifting it. We're moving it up or down like a dial. And this um, allows our expression to change and our state of being to change. So energy expression guided flows have been channeling through me to help you remember and restore your natural state of being. And I was guided to share one in this video, which I didn't expect when I first started to channel this, but hey. So I'm calling this beginning's birth, or it's asked me to call. I often get names in when these things come through, beginning's birth. And yes, I do love to do the, I forget what you call it, but you, you see a lot of it like beginning's birth. And it's not alliteration. I can't think of the word to it. I know there's a word in language, language in me, eh, I often pronounce things differently than others, you'll notice as well, so, but beginning's birth takes you through the energy of rebirth to have the experience for the sake of it, so this is something we're not taught to do, we're often taught to have a desired outcome, so this is about learning from and enjoying the process without the attachment to the outcome, because often the outcome is based on um, something from the past that we didn't yet reach. So therefore we feel like we need to have it. So this creates a clean slate and clears that past. And we don't focus so much on the outcome, which is a strong society paradigm of focus, but not necessarily a true expression of you. Now you can take this again as much as you want or not. I'm not saying not to have intentions or goals. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to not develop something. But what I'm saying is we put a lot of attachment to that point that we're focusing on and that we base our, the way we feel on that, then there's a deep unprocessed emotion from the past still in there, okay? So let's bring a little more joy into the present and develop through immersing in the journey, taking it one step at a time, which is a little less serious. I like to shake off that seriousness. <laughs> okay, now, as I received this guidance, the tulip sprang to mind. Now, I've never been a real flower girl, so this has been a journey lately as I've been learning about some different flowers as they've been coming in. Like a dandelion came in for me like a couple weeks ago is with a message, and sure enough, it was exactly the message I needed to hear when I saw and I kept hearing dandelion, you know, well, I didn't see a tulip, came to mind, and I found out it's known for rebirth. And I thought, wow, <laughs> wow, we know so many things we don't realize we know. Um, and it also reminds us, interestingly enough, of grace under pressure. And when we're building our wings, having compassion for the journey and, and asking ourselves to be gracious 
and forgive a lot of the opinions we have of behaviors and actions of the past is a big piece, right? So without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about the tool. Mm. The tulip turns your perspective like a dial. So you can see from an ascended viewpoint, if you choose, opening you up to new options that weren't previously seen. That's why you often see this around springtime because we are going to sit with this energy right now in your mind if you want to join in. This is an energy expression flow. You may be able to visualize the tulip. You can also simply sense the energy of rebirth um, or what you believe it feels like, or you can ask yourself to center into that. Don't overthink this, please. Just trust whatever pops in as necessary to navigate at the moment. Now, as we start to do this, as with all energy expressions, at times a lower energy of fear in some form will pop up to clear. There's no need to push it away, which is what society teaches, because remember, fear is false evidence appearing real. So you can face it and let it go rather than have it like hanging around on the back like a gnat flying around you. So I <laughs> eat that in the summer, right? If you find facing any type of lower energy overwhelming, it's absolutely okay to ask for support, whether it be from your spirit guides, higher self, God, universe, or another individual you trust that has your highest potential at the heart. This is really important. We often feel like we have to go it alone, um, that we might freak others out in some way. There are oh, There's always someone around to support you and, um, and hold you in this space. And I will do so for you now. Well, I didn't expect that to come through. Apparently I am. Now lean back into something that has support. Roll back your shoulders, opening your heart space. Put your hand on your heart if it helps to connect and breathe in and out naturally. In, belly extended, out, belly in. I find when I'm in fear, it's like the opposite happens. Breathe in, belly extended, out, in. Without the need for it to be perfect, simply reconnect into the body in flow, letting your body lead you in, out. Smile in, out. Feel yourself relax in, Feel the rhythm. Mm. I always want to dance when I say that. <laughs> Allow yourself the freedom <laughs> to react to any triggers that are coming up and free your unprocessed emotions as we go. Oh, a lot in the throat center for dead these days. <clears throat> Remember your sensitivity is a gift and a big key to rebirth. So as you clear what has become trapped within you, you also elevate consciousness for those around you. So let it be okay. If you want to cry right now, cry. If you want to go get a hug, get a hug. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. If you want to simply be in nature, go for it. Connect. Allow yourself to create space for this tulip, the clean cleaning up the slate of whatever you're holding on to so tightly. <laughs> Road has had a little bit of a catch in it, so maybe I'm clearing with you. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Mm. Breathe in and out. Seeing the tulip gently and slowly unfold. One petal at a time. There's no need to rush. There's no time limit on this. There's no time limit on healing. Stay with each petal and feel free to come back to this at different times as each petal has a message for you. First one that's opening is telling me to listen, to soften. And I've been a little tough on myself. Who else has been there? Yeah, soften that if this resonates, feel into it. As you build wings for this new adventure, keep the tulip in mind. Take it with you. 
Enjoy the experience as the petal unfolds by giving it your full attention without agenda to what it has to mean. Simply what it is for right now in this moment. Let it simply be a petal. If it helps, sense the texture and depth of the petal in your mind. When I wrote this, I was guided to research the petal online, which is why I often do channeling ahead of time. So my intuition will tell me where to go next for that next stimulation piece that will support me with what else wants to come through. And I discovered there's a petal storytelling where each story is individual. Apparently pet petal storytelling, I'm gonna do my best to simplify this, but I'm not an expert, is while a story shares the same point as another's, it can be understood separately. So let the petal of the tulip tell you the story of whatever archetype you're carrying. Oh, that was interesting, what I just heard. And where you can let go. Ooh, I'm going to go explore that, right? So feel into it. It's definitely some healing going on over here. <laughs> I heard wounded warrior for myself. Hmm. It's definitely an empowerment energy with that. There's no need to make change unless you feel ready and willing for it. Although at time, you'll be guided through it if evolution is required of you for the next stage of the journey. I'm not so sure I was ready for the light language that came through when your game. <laughs> Release the judgment or narrowness of looking at this as good or bad. It doesn't matter that I've helped many clients do the same thing I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> right Feel into the experience for what it wants to tell you in the present, because this is your opportunity for a rebirth, for a way to say, hey, it's okay. For support, clearing attachments to the past and understanding what is keeping you stuck in a pattern. There are now live real-time readings, I was guided. <laughs> There's those R's again, RR, real-time readings, which are challenging, or challenges without, oh, <laughs> challenges. Oh, I got a little tongue tied. There's something clear in here, which are channelings without ties to a particular system or chart. <laughs> Some reconfiguring going on right now. Simply being present with who you are in your time and space to move you through it. Apparently, I'm moving through time and space right now. When you experience a feeling in real time, it's common to suppress it based on judgment of what the feeling means connected to a trauma or a belief. Right? What does it mean that this is happening right now? <laughs> I'm going to ask, what does this mean, right? Sometimes you may associate the feeling with the happening in astrology. You know, I've spoken about that. I have the answers for astrology playlist. It could be collective or individual, and sometimes not because um, you're experiencing something through um, a relationship dynamic, through an energy dynamic that may not be something you recognize or that is being correctly conveyed through astrology or defined by astrology. So, it's one of the reasons in the real-time readings, um, we're not using a defined system or chart, whatever's dropping in, like in this video, the tool dropped in. So that's what came. <laughs> so here's a snippet of what happens when you're experiencing a feeling in real time. So an emotion you experience is a memory. And this triggers a state of being. There is an energy expression for this, of course. And if it's an unprocessed emotion, there's a meaning attached to the memory. So you stay stuck with it in a disempowered state often because that memory has been misunderstood. You brought it, that old past memory into the now time with an old meaning. Oh, right. You want to be free of it. Seem like a snip and a cut, but it just cut the gorge. <laughs> Real-time readings are intuitively channeled to help guide to a higher spiralized version of energy, ascended, uplifted, empowered, so you're free to present to opportunities now. So I hope this video has supported you. Apparently it did for me. And I look forward to continuing to bring you more. Yes, I use my own stuff. To guide you to restore and remember your true soul expression. It's been a joy to share this with you. And um, I look forward to bringing more. Bye for now.